channel beyond the moon i am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading so aries sun moon rising and venus if this does not resonate please check your other placements for messages there feel free to cross watch but don't force anything to fit you guys please keep in mind this is a general reading this is not a personal reading all right i've had some comments uh lately about people getting angry or just uh, they're not personal readings it's general take what resonates leave the rest all right feel free to check your other placements and cross watch all right aries sorry for the lecture all right so uh aries i am stick around till the end i have a fun exciting announcement to make and also i was meditating on your energy and i was feeling like you have a hidden path coming your way something that you don't see yet um i feel like it's um something coming in divine timing or a manifestation that you've been working on and i, I was hearing that song by bob marley um could you be loved and i feel like there might be a point here where you either have to like say something or use your voice or stand up for what you believe in or stand up for yourself or love um i feel like there could be someone that could be either trying to like be a snake in the grass or sabotage something or trying to like change who you are in a connection or, or something along those lines so Take that how you see fit, all right? Um, I do feel like this reading might be a little little deep, um, but let's get into it and see what's going on. So it's kind of funny. Your overall energy, we have serendipity and go the distance. So you may be seeing signs, synchronicities, hearing songs, number patterns, um, certain messages might be coming through, or you could feel like your luck is changing, things are finally starting to go your way. And I feel like you're really looking long term. You're really wanting something to go the distance, um, willing to put in the work and effort here, um, not taking shortcuts. Again, like being bold and brave and standing up for yourself um, and what you want um, out of love, out of life. All right. So I feel like it's a very... Um, transitional period for you as well like making big changes your person's overall energy uh we have blessed and the fates wow all right so your person could feel like this is something that's faded destined meant to be um i do have time for a nap in new life that came out here so i feel like you could either be in separation with this person or a timeout some kind of a break or either you or your person or both could be feeling exhausted or you could be communicating in dream states i was just hearing a new life so this could be a brand new connection for you or renewal of um, the connection between the two of you. But I feel like it's something you may not see coming here. I feel like it is divine timing and some kind of a surprise. Some of you may have taken a break from love and said, the heck with it, I'm working on myself. And that's when the universe usually provides, right? When you release or, or surrender and let go. So, all right, um, I'm seeing numbers 222. Two, two. Uh, and I'm also seeing sevens. So look up angel numbers 222 two, two, and 77 seven, and see if there's any messages there for you. All right. All right. So let's get into it. Aries, I'm going to start off with your person's current energies. What's going on with them? Um, keep in mind, Aries, that when I say your person's energy, it can be flip flopped and reversed. It could be your energy. All right. It is general. So all right, let's get into it. So we're starting off with Ten of Swords. Wow. So your person could feel like there was either some kind of painful ending, um, backstab, betrayal, deception. Um, there's some kind of wisdom here, though, or a lesson that was learned. So this doesn't have to be from you. Uh, your person could be coming out of a painful ending, um, something where they were feeling stuck or not seeing things clearly or their hands were tied, Eight of Swords. And then we're going into the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like your person may have been either stuck in something or healing or some kind of painful ending or, or whatever. And now I feel like they're coming out of it. They're feeling confident, independent, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, working on their own stability here. Um, so this could be something where you've met them. 
Um, and they felt stuck or trapped in a connection and now they've broken free and they're single and ready um, for some of you. For others of you, there could have been a painful ending between the two of you. This person could have been stuck and now they're single. Some of them could be playing the field or this is them coming towards you. And I feel like it's more that we have Knight of Wands, Sagittarius Energy, King of Pentacles, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Knight of Cups, Pisces. So we have two knights and a king here. For some of you, I feel like there's a lot of passion, desire, attraction, chemistry, intimacy, things like that going on. Romance, romantic gestures, knight in shining armor. Um, so you guys could be like messaging or texting or getting all freaky deaky or, or romantic and just being fun and playful and I feel like this person could be coming off as like a king male or female no gender in tarot you guys um just very grounded um stable firm uh, methodical not really fast moving but definitely like stable and long term here with that king of pentacles um, could be a little bit materialistic for some of you, all right, um, but I do feel like there is long term here. For some of you, you could have been married to this person and just kind of like on a break or in separation, um, but I do feel like there is a lot of like romance, attraction, passion, desire going on here. There is something faded. You're seeing signs and synchronicities, so I do feel like more so what this is saying is that your person is transitioning from something into this with you, all right? Could be taking strength, courage, confidence uh, for this to come together, Leo energy. They could live at a distance here with the world card, um, or they had to close out a cycle, all right? Yeah, higher level of commitment. The Hierophant. Again, either you could have been or they could have been in a higher level of commitment. Let's see what's blocking, what's blocking this connection. Six of Pentacles. So things aren't balanced or um, equal give and take, reciprocity. Your person could have been giving to two. Um, there could be something to do with children being involved or a blockage here with that. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Either this person or you couldn't put the work and effort into this connection, all right? Um, or you could have worked together and workplace romance, you know, something like that could have been blocking this. Um, but I do feel like it was unbalanced at some point right now even. All right, blockages, blockages for Aries. What else is going on, Aries? Aries, Aries, blockages, Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit, Virgo energy, the Moon, Pisces, Cancerian, Page of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Oh boy. All right, Aries, is this love and separation here? <laughs> um, I feel like maybe there was contact communication was cut off here someone maybe went ghost or had to kind of go through some kind of dark night of the soul or come up with some kind of realization I feel like it's like you guys were trying to plant seeds but they weren't growing here they weren't being nurtured and cared for to grow and blossom into something um someone could have just been cut off and cold and also have to make a really head over heart logical decision here. Could be an age difference too between the two of you. Doesn't have to. There is something hidden or was something hidden that may have come to light. Hmm. Seven of Swords. I feel like there is like an outside source here trying to get involved or get in the way. Some there, yeah, okay. <laughs> Aries, is this person like married in separation? 
And that's coming through strong here. And I feel like your person's ex or other person is really trying to be manipulative here or sneaky. They're trying to block this connection. And that might be why I was hearing that that song too. Like you need to stand up for yourself or stand up for what you believe is right. Um, there's, yeah. There's someone, someone trying to, to block this. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Earth sign. They're being very sneaky. Whoever this person is, you'll know who it is. You know who I'm talking about if this is resonating. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Aries? How does this person truly feel? It could be also, it may not be like a an ex marriage or whatever. It could be a person, place, or thing. It could be a family member, a mother, father, um, sister, brother, sibling, a friend, a boss. Could be anybody. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? How does this person truly feel about you? Someone, it's like they can't make up their mind or there's like a decision that they need to make. You may know this person from the past. Dun, 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 dun. Um, maybe even since childhood or there's something to do again with children here. Uh, Six of Cups. I feel like this person reminisces about you, thinks about you, looks at old pictures, memories. We have the Empress here, Taurus energy, Four of Pentacles. So how this first person feels about you, they see you. So you may be like a mother or father of their children. How they see you is a very loving, caring, nurturing, compassionate, fertile, abundant um, being. And then King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, an air sign. Or <sighs> uh, Aries, you could have called it quits or got kind of fed up or sick of waiting for this person or sick of whatever is blocking this. And kind of cut him off, cut him out, or was very blunt, cold, um, kind of turned from like emotions to emotionless towards this person. And I feel like they're they're really thinking about you, but I, they may see you holding back right now. Because I feel like you're waiting for some kind of transformation to go on within this connection. Yeah, you're stressed out, Aries, sleepless nights, high anxiety, replaying events, overthinking. Nine of Swords. How else do they see you? And keep in mind also, you guys, um, this is how they see you or feel about you. So it may not be the truth, but it's their truth. It's their perspective. All right. Queen of Cups. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> There's a lot of people here, a lot of court cards showing up. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy showing up. So they could see that either you have like a lot of love to give or there could have been like jealousy, possessiveness, uh, unstable emotions, or maybe you cut off, which I could see here too. Maybe you cut off your emotions. But they do see you as a loving, caring, nurturing person. But I feel like part of you turned cold towards them. How else do they feel? Well, they have regrets. Five of Cups, they have regrets. They're feeling a loss, sadness, regret, remorse. And Six of Wands. They still, they think highly of you, Aries. They put you on a pedestal. 
they want victory and success. They may see now, um, if you pulled your energy back, they may see now that like you're getting a lot of attention from other people. They could be um, jealous watching you on social media or seeing, observing, whatever, you getting attention, gaining followers, things like that. Um, but I still feel like they want victory and success with you. Why? Why is that? Hmm, because they feel you're their soulmate. They do, and I feel like you do too, and you really want this to go the distance. You're seeing signs. You're seeing the signs. It is a wish come true here. But there could be confusion. Yep. There's confusion going on about higher level of commitment or this really standing the test of time. And again, you guys, there could be something about a contract, a divorce, assets, financials, something with a contract here, a, con a contractual agreement that needs to change. Take that how it resonates, but there is some confusion going on about stability here. Okay, okay, let's see what is the potential outcome for Aries and this person, potential outcome. Keep in mind, Aries, you have free will and so do they. You can change your mind, so can they, so it could change um, the outcome. And I'm not here to tell you what to do, I'm just reading the energies, all right? So use your own discernment. So the world, you guys could live at a distance um, for some of you, or I feel like there's a cycle that needs to close out. Some chapter needs to be completed here. Um, there's a lot of stress and our, oh God, heated, passionate arguments, uh, drama, too many people involved, competition. I feel like it's stressing you out. And here is the, we have King and Queen of Swords now showing up. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra with the Queen, King of Pentacles again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Three of Cups, Six of Swords. Aries, I feel like you, you're trying to close out this chapter here. You're trying to. But this person, I feel like they keep coming back and like love bombing you. But they're wishy-washy. Their actions aren't matching their words. They're, they're not living up to what they're telling you. Very in and out energy going on. And I feel like you just want that to stop. You want either like shit or get off the pot. Like be serious or, or take a hike, you know? And I feel like you're calling this person out because you, it's really weighing on you. It's getting stressful. If there is a third party situation or they put you as a third party here, it's like, let's move this on to calmer waters. Let's get real here. What else? What else for this outcome? The star, Aquarius energy, a wish come true, having hope and faith. All right. The sun will come out after uh, it's this painful ending here. I know some of you are going to probably attack me in the, in the comments here. I feel like some of you may work this out with this person. Because you want to. You want to start over again with this person or you want things to go the distance. The Ten of Swords, that, that is, it's an ending, it's a ten, it's, it's a painful cycle, painful ending here. And I feel like you're closing this chapter of the painful ending because you really just want happiness. And a wish come true. And things to move on to calmer waters. 
And in that Ten of Swords, in the traditional um, tarot, like you see the sun starting to rise again in the horizon. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening here after this painful ending. Like the sun is starting to come out. You're starting to feel better. And that's what I said at the beginning when I was like honing in on your energy. There's something to do with divine timing and, and something that you're not going to see coming. I feel like there is healing here that can take place, but let me get a little bit more. What else for this outcome? What comes after the sun? Leo energy, by the way, happiest card in the deck. So seven of swords landed on my lap in reverse. So maybe that sneaky behavior, manipulation will come to an end here and you'll get your commitment. Four of Wands, 1111, Make a Wish, Twin Flame, Soulmate, Energy, um, Leveling Up, A Reason to Celebrate. All right. Whew. For some of you, this is how I see it. Either you're going to work this out with this person or you're not. Hmm. Some of you may actually cut off communication altogether because it's just too much. All right. And others of you, I feel like you may have a water sign coming towards you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, it is Cancer predominantly, and you have, wow, you have a new beginning here. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles, higher level of commitment, offering of love. The overall energy is what's throwing me off here. Or else I would say, like, forget this person, you're done, you're going, moving on to something else. But it's almost like you're seeing signs that, like, this person is your soulmate. And they are, too. And when I say don't come after me, you guys, everybody's different. Everybody makes different decisions. And it's like... <laughs> There can be forgiveness. There can be overcoming obstacles. There can be people, we're human, we make mistakes. I'm not saying accept people or forgive people if they're chronically making mistakes. Totally a player, never going to be serious. No. But I feel like there is hope with this person. I do. There's regret. There's sadness. There acknowledging what happened here and I feel like you have a new start in love whether it's with this person or you have a new person coming towards you if you do it could be a water sign it could be an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn it could be any sign all right so take this how it resonates all right um let's see what's the biggest obstacle you're gonna have to overcome conditioning whether it's this person or you, and that's kind of what that song is about. Don't let them change you or rearrange you, you know. Um, so if it was a tough connection, you know, don't let them fool you. <laughs> For some of you, it may just be too far. They may have gone too far, you know. Um, but overcoming that, those thoughts, those negative thinking, um, not believing in yourself, not thinking you're good enough, that conditioning, that programming... All right. There's sheep in the picture. Don't be a sheep. <laughs> and a lion. Take your power back. You know, the world. All right. Closing out a cycle. I don't know, you guys. This may have just been too much. It just may have been too much. And you're moving on to new. Take it how you see fit. Again, you guys, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Postponement, fighting, abundance, and the world. So, yeah, there could be just too much arguing, too, you know, it just went too far. Things taking too long. Friendliness, maybe you're just choosing the higher road and you're just going to be friendly towards this person and move on. Um, I feel like overcoming you, um, having that sense of like lack in love, I feel like you're overcoming that. You're, you're speaking up, you're standing up for what you want, what you believe in. And I feel like you really are attracting that. You're manifesting it. So watch for those signs and synchronicities, all right? Um, 
What else do we have for Aries? What else? What other messages? Aries. We'll get into that right after this quick message. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10k subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into your right, Aries, what messages do we have for Aries? Romance. <laughs> Romance, rebel flow, savor, entice. Open yourself to romance, mystery, magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory. That's what I was saying. Like, there's something that you don't see. You're going to get romantic offers, love gestures, higher level of commitment here. All right, what else? What else? What else? Deception, yeah. Mask, illusion, duplicity, look beyond the superficial and memories, nostalgia, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go. So if you choose to forgive, forgive, let it go, move on from that. If not, you need to just let it go as a whole and move on to whatever this new love is that's coming towards you. All right. What else for Aries? other messages for Aries ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase prepare for union yep you're ascending Cupid's arrow Aww. have faith love is coming surprise invitation meeting or hesitation the butterfly, relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. I have inner child right here too, you guys. Um, playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live to the fullest clock. Divine timing, in time takes time, time to heal, time in cycles, time to progress. All right, and boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Photograph, guys are reminiscing big time. This could be someone from like the past past, way past. I don't know. You're going to have to let me know how it, how it resonates with you. But Aries, that is.